Hey, I'm just going to talk to you about what we can do for vertical pulling options. Some of our workouts are going to require a pull down machine. Not all, everybody has access to that equipment. Uh, some of the days are going to require pull ups or chin ups and we don't all have access to a pull up machine. So we're going to talk about how we can do bands. Bands for options uh, and substitutes or regressions. So let's talk about regressions first. If the day calls for a uh, set range of let's say 10 pull-ups or chin-ups, but you can't achieve that, we can simply use some assistance with a band. So I have a loop band here. I've just girth hitched that over my pull-up bar. I'm gonna put that in one leg. We have that pull-up, right? So pull-up has us going to an overhand position, active shoulders, belly tension, chin over the bar, full extension, or if we call for a chin-up, underhand grip over and down okay so that's our assistance in terms of uh, using the band each brand is a little different on what color they choose but just know the bigger the band the more assistance that you have the more body weight it's taking off of you when we're talking about substituting this we can use the band for a pull down instead so i have that single band girth hitched over top. Now, if you don't have a pull-up bar, you can simply do this by putting it in a door frame. Just make sure you put a knot on the other side of the door and we can do a wide grip pull down. Or we can narrow that. Okay. And if we need to, maybe possibly we need to add some resistance. We can actually do two. So now that we have two bands, I can use the bands. I've got double the resistance. And don't forget guys, bands, the higher you hold, so the more tension you have, the more resistance you have. So if you need to, you can choke up. So those are some simple substitutes that you can use for vertical pulling.